Well, all right, very exciting. The time is moving on, isn't it? Whoa, I thought I better get my suitcase out. <laughs> yeah, it takes me that long. Uh, and, and Sandy would probably rather me do that sometime before the night before we leave. So, all right. So, um, let's just do a little popcorn here. Um, something you're excited about as you go, and also something you're nervous about. Okay, either one or both. Something you're excited about or something you're nervous about. Yes, Lisa. Well, yes, we'll talk about that. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, Meteora, Me Meteoria or something. Yes. Cool. If you don't have a fear of heights, you should be fine. No, I'm just kidding. I think it's going to be good. Good. Others? Nervous, excited, one or both? Excited about being in a new place. Yeah. Never thought I'd go there. Yeah. Nervous about getting over to the airport and all that kind of stuff. We'll talk about this. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to talk about that. So <laughs> hopefully you will be less nervous today. So good. Ner yes, Kathy. I'm excited about history has been so far. Yes, yeah. And I I am too. And I'm really hoping our guide will really help us with that. Especially. So good. Other things. Excited, nervous. I'm excited about getting to know mm -hmm. everybody in this room a little bit more, a little more intimate. Um, nervous about <laughs> <laughs> all the stuff that's going on that I need to make decisions about. Right now. And yeah. take yes. a deep breath and just yes, do as the Lord tells me. All the I's that need dotted and T's crossed before you go. Yeah. Yeah. When you're a police chief, that's you know, there's a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, good. Thank you. Um, I was gonna, you kind of got mine there too. I was I was sitting here, I was ex I'm excited about um just seeing the group can get together and relationships, old relationships be strengthened and new ones be created. Um, I'm very much excited about that. Um, I'm a little nervous because I've not gone, you know, so I'm gonna have lots of things ready to go, but I'm a little nervous, you know, because I, you know, I'm kind of leading the group, but I've not been before. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm not bad nervous about that, but that's maybe a little nervousness about that. So, but that's exciting too. So other things, Beth. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. We're, yes, that's true. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll just have to stay with Russ in charge of this thing. I'm not nervous. Yeah. 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 Have a lot of confidence in Russ for sure. Thanks, Rich. I've just heard so many tales about our luggage getting lost in Europe. Yeah. So. That was top of mind. Yep, I've got that as a PowerPoint bullet. So yeah, good. Ooh, Apple Air Tags. Okay. No, no, that's okay. We let's make sure we don't miss that. That's an if you've got them, or like a tile. They 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 so they're not too expensive, but the tight little tile things are the similar where you can right. you can uh, find. Yeah, that would be interesting. That's a good thought. That that won't well actually, I think it will, won't it? Facebook groups this summer traveling in Greece and traveling the mounds of lost luggage sitting there, and people not knowing their luggage. And those people with Apple Air Tags, if you with the with an Apple phone walk by those suitcases. They can pick up. You at home are saying, "Where is my suitcase?" And with my walking by with an Apple phone, it triggers yours to show you where your suitcase. 
your phone doesn't have to be. So, That's my understanding. Yeah, interesting. Found it, and they've actually contacted the airline and said, "My suitcase is sitting by carousel number thirteen." Which, no which, if we lose our luggage, then probably all of ours will be there. So, <laughs> you guys take care of it. <laughs> no, I'll look. I have some of those. Yeah. So that's good. That's good. Cool. Yeah, good, good. Yes, the luggage thing. I I asked Russ about that, and uh, it's not an airport thing. It's an airline thing. It's what he told me. But regardless, hopefully they're getting this figured out by now. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting better. Okay, good. Other things, excited, nervous. And, you know, I should have had you say your names just because we are still getting to know each other's names, but something you're excited about, nervous about. Yes, Berta, that's so great. And we're excited to have her along too. That's great. Yeah, Bradley. It's yeah yeah we get to we get to join in the family yes it's amazing no pressure though <laughs> Yes, thank you, Bradley. That's awesome. Did I see it? Yeah, Beth, I know. Yes. The coffees, the Mediterranean food, the hummus, and some lamb. I'm a good lamb. All right, good. Anybody else want to throw in something here? Yes, Jane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, in our remaining time, I'm gonna bounce off of that real quick, Jane, say, I wanna, I'm gonna make sure we get at least a nice snippet of each letter where we're gonna visit, like the letter of Philippians. I wanna, I'm gonna take a core text in like our last few get togethers. They're all in it. They're all in it. Oh, in the book, yeah, great. great. Yeah, the, the guidebook I bet is really helpful. So, um, but we'll read, a nice chunk. So when we get to that city, some of them, like Thessalon Thessaloniki, I guess is the way to say it. I always said Thessalonica, but um, you know, it's a big city. It's a thriving city. And some, you know, like Corinth, it's like it's just ruins, you know. So, but still, we'll have a place now as we think about those letters. So absolutely very cool. Any others? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Based on the English, because even in even in Greek, it's not the same alphabet. The way it oh no, most of our words come from Greek, but <laughs> yeah. So you know, you're going to be in pretty good shape because of the context that we're in as a tour group. Yeah. But and and in a lot of the places, because it's where we're going, so many people from England and North America. <laughs> in Canada are going there, that there's going to probably be not too big of a thing. But if we get off, when we go into Athens and we tool around, get off the beaten path, that might become a little bit of a challenge. But, you know, we've got some good, you know, who knows? Uh, <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Get lost. Okay, good tip. I don't have that in here. So, Take the hotel card if you, if you, so you don't for, or make sure you know where you're staying. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Anything else? Excited, nervous. This is awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, taking a hotel card is good. Someone had suggested that when they were taking people on a foreign trip. And so as they left the hotel, they reached, oh, they got a, they got a match book from the hotels. So they figured, well, that would help them get there, so they gave it to the taxi driver when they're ready to come back. The words on the on the matchbook were closed before striking. <laughs> Hotel. <laughs> okay, that's really good too. I love it. Good. All right. Well, let's um, uh, 
let's let's jump right in. I'll close this today in prayer for blessing, but let's just jump right into some practical things. And uh, thank you for that. That makes me even more excited to hear your your excitement. Oh, that's not what I wanted. How many times have we done this? Let's see. I am. Thank you, Bradley. Yeah. All right. So here's, I've got a bunch of bullet points. These will be, this is being recorded. I'll get it up online. And also there'll be PDFs of this PowerPoint. So if you want to go back through it, I certainly encourage you to take notes if you're a good note taker and all that, but however you want to do it, this will be available. So um, getting to airport options. Uh, our flight leaves at, I was going to pull these up. 810. So um, we'll, you're going to want to be at the airport with international travel. I say three hours ahead of time. So, you know, um, now it may turn out that that's, we got tons of extra time, but with something big like this, you don't want to have to be messing with it. Um, the great thing is if you are driving around and going to park a vehicle or your carpooling, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, also, you can take the airporter. So that's another option. Um, you know, make sure you take, get going that early, We, the good thing about that is hopefully you won't have any big accidents that jam you up. If you have to get through before rush hour, that can get pretty dicey going around. I don't know if any of you have been going to the airport and <laughs> look on your map and it's all red, you know, all the way. And then so um, I know some folks are getting hotels over there. Anybody got a reservation yet? I think we do at the, Mar the Marriott there. They have parking too, but they have a deal for parking. First, I think seven days of free parking went to the room and then you down to the Right. Mm -hmm. So that is, and that's at the Marriott. So that is one way to go. Um, so, um, you know, that's a great way to go. If you can afford a hotel overnight, um, you don't have to get up quite as early. You know, that's been a very successful thing. And you're right there. You're already parked. You get on their bus from the hotel and it drops you off the airport. It's, it's a pretty smooth thing. That's one way to go. Another way to go is to handle your own parking and drive and just, you know, pay the <laughs> pay the um, parking fee. Um, I know some people might really appreciate a ride, um, a, a carpool. Um, Audrey, I think you had mentioned that you would love to get a ride. Is there anybody else in your kind of plans that, boy, I would really like the help getting there? Because we'll... we'll... I could either go... Yeah, yeah, we will get you taken care of, okay? So, but yeah, so nobody else, okay? Great, because I'm not sure whether we're, we at Sandy, I have to talk, I, we probably do that hotel thing, but we're down a car right now, so <laughs> anyway, um, we'll see. But um, we could wake up our oldest daughter and make her drive us at 3 a.m. What do you think? <laughs> uh, Kathy? It wasn't. Wasn't that emailed to us? You did not get your email ticket yet? Or it's not a ticket, I don't think. It's just the flights. There was one just this last week that gave you your seat, your seat number and stuff. Didn't get that. Okay. <laughs> See. Well, exactly. And some of us check our mailboxes too, and then we would have it. Um, okay, so that's getting to the airport options. I wanna make sure everybody have the help they need with that if you need help. Um, yeah, okay, good. Yes, check your junk folder with emails. You know, remember how that happens. And boy, Microsoft um, is very aggressive in putting stuff in my junk folder. So <laughs> I, I have to, you know, and it's just another folder. So you just click on it and make sure. Yeah, Beth. Okay. Super, super. All right. So knowing that, and I'm pretty sure some others would be open to, 
uh, you know, get getting onto your ride over either morning of or or you're okay with stay at spend the night too. Okay. So so we'll get this squared away this week. Okay. Yep. Okay. 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 Anything else on getting to the airport? All right. This is just an. I just this. These are not in any order. Um, is our first flight Air Canada? Yes. Yes. So when I remember about Air Canada, it, it depends on our our airplane. I think the one that goes over, you know, the ocean, because we're flying to Toronto, right, or Ontario, yeah, Montreal. Montreal. Sorry. Um, anyway, is that you? Air Canada has an app, so you'll want to download Air Canada's app on your iPad, tablet. If you're planning to use the tablet with their Wi-Fi, they usually the, the airplanes now have free Wi-Fi at least for movies and stuff like that. Now, some of the airplanes will have the TV right in the seat behind you. I've not, I, I never know which which way. I'm sure we could find out if we, you know, researched it. But if you just, I know for Air Canada, if you get on the plane and go, oh, I need to download the app, at least it didn't work when I traveled before. You got to do it ahead of time. So that's something you can write yourself a note. Um, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. And then who are we flying over the ocean on? It's it, the whole Air thing Canada. is Air Canada. The whole thing is Air Canada. Okay, great. One thing about that is any plane that flies over transatlantic like that or trans Pacific, almost every plane I've been on has always had the TV on the screen. Yeah. Yes, it. yes. So I think that it's step it's five hours to Montreal. Yeah. And um and then from Mon from you know then we can see the next flight after that. Um and what's happened is is this message came in August 17th and it shows it says Air Canada does not put the seat assignment on the electronic ticket, but our air consolidator did it. So he's, so your seats are in there and I'm pleased to know that I have an aisle seat the whole way. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's, is it, oh, is it up for, uh, is it up? Is your aisle seat up for, uh, you know, bid? No. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk about the seats in just a second, because that's, that's, that's always an issue, um, which I learned the last time. So, all right, so that's iPhones, tablets, iPad, as far as use of technology with Air Canada, load that app. That'll be a helpful thing for you. Um, luggage and care. Purchase five hours yeah. is purchase. Yeah, it's going over to to Athens. Is included. Yeah. So we, if we're flying here, you know, in the morning, and you haven't, you know, you might be able to get some. I'm thinking in my head, I'll grab a breakfast burrito from someplace in the airport, take it on, even if I'm not hungry yet, and and then uh, you know, have some snacks, which is really good, and then you may have think about buying lunch or something or, you know, on the plane or, or buy something and take it with you. You know, if you've got some, you know, all the snack things or whatever. Um, I don't know about Air Canada. I mean, Alaska has a great cheese and fruit platter, but that's all I know. So anyway, thank you, Audrey. That's a great point. So no, we have to pay for our lunch on the, on the um, plane going over to Montreal. So luggage carry on, you know, um, Please, yes. When Eric was over in, in, in Poland, Germany, that's the way we communicate. Yeah. What? 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 What's that? What's that? It's a different issue to be in Wi Fi. Yes. Yeah. So, if you're not, and you don't have to use your, your phone data. Right. Yeah. To think that, that you're it probably doesn't need to call yeah yeah, yeah right yeah as long as you got wi-fi wi-fi yeah good good no that's great because data can get expensive and 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 so let me talk about this and remind you about this just so um when we get on the bus unless the new buses and the new air in the last two three years they may have wi-fi on the bus like the bus has Wi-Fi. But I guarantee you, if every one of us get on that Wi-Fi, it will not work. So, you know, think about that. 
I mean, I don't want to legislate it, but just know that I would say, shut your Wi-Fi off unless you need it, turn it on, use it, and then shut it off. Because when everybody starts using it, it doesn't work because yeah. it's, you know, only so much water can get through the hose, typically. Sure, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because when you get home from the hotel, you can yeah. shoot off all your emails and your texts and all that yeah. good stuff. Because everybody's going to want to see and and. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. Uh, who's on the Wi-Fi? Raise your <laughs> no. So um, that make brings up something we don't have to decide now. But if anybody enjoys. I'm looking around. I don't know if anybody enjoys social media or not. But it would be fun if one person took charge of putting a post or two each day on the church Facebook. Um, it because people would be like, "Oh, that's cool." And that, that. I remember. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> yes, we really enjoyed that, especially some of the video that you put on. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, let's talk because we can get you the credentials for the face, the SLC page. I just think it might be a fun thing. OK, so carry on. Um, make sure this is standard. Everybody knows this. You probably don't need to be told this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. All meds go on your carry on. Anything essential goes on your carry on. If a sleep apnea machine is an essential health tool for you, take it on the carry on. Now, I probably won't. I'll probably, because I can, I use one, but it's not like I will, you know, be in big trouble if I don't have it. But so you can make a decision about that. And it does not count against your carry on. Thank you, Lisa. That's exactly right. I've got to bring a guitar and we might have another guitar going. So, um, yeah, I have to think about that. But anyway, um, so you've got one carry on and like they allow me to do, but in a purse type of thing, but make sure you take your meds. That's standard stuff, but I have to say it. Make sure you take your meds um, uh, in your carry on uh, and be careful about the size of your carry on because they get in big flights, international flights, they get pretty nervous about not having enough space up there. And so they might be like, well, you're going to have to check yours, um, this type of thing. So you know, just think about, think that through, try not to push the limit of the carry thing, um, but that that's your personal decision. So, so that's it for luggage and carry on. I think in the packet, you got a little red thing or a little faith-based exposition. If you haven't got your packet yet, make sure you put that on your luggage because when it comes through, we're not going to be all, where's mine? You see one with faith-based expeditions, you take it off and you set so we'll we'll all be in together. We won't we won't just be getting our own luggage, you know. Um, so make sure and do that. That'll really help. They're very visual, and so you can see those. Um, okay. Yeah. That's the new tags. That's the new tags. Those aren't as visual as the other ones. Yeah. 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 That's a good question, Lisa, because I would think the airport would want to see your personal stuff information on there. But when you get to the hotel, I would put faith based. Steps. I would switch it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I would. I would, in the way over and back, I'd put your personal information on there and then, or, you know, having that stick out. Um, and then when you get off the airport in Athens, let's put the faith base so they'll know those are all. Oh, so it does have a name on it. Okay. But, you want exposure. Yeah, that's true. And and if they, they can always open it. So put the faith base in your last name, have that sticking out on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's true. That's true. That's true. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. That's very helpful. All right. Luggage carry on. Yes. Good point. So that's a question. I have a. Um, Sandy, can you just write distilled water? Remind Bill. I need to. I'm, I'm making a list of all the things I have to ask to Russ, but that's one um, because I'm in the same situation. And I don't. I one time I decided I'll put some, you know, some distilled water in a container. That that wasn't a good thing in my luggage. So had a nice cool set of clothes to put on like, to where I was. So I, I guess that's not a great idea. The pressure is a little issue there. So um, thank you. That's good. I'll ask Russ about that. So security, um, anybody, and there's no shame in this or anything, but anybody not done much air travel? Okay. Not for a while. Okay, Sam. So, yeah. so it's the things to quick remember. They'll tell you all these things, but it's really great to know ahead of time. No liquids in your carry-on. Um, you know, what is, they, don't they still have the regulations that if you have, what's the number of ounces, you like three ounces and you, any containers like that, that has lotion or anything like that, that needs to be in a separate little, so you can uh, zip like thing. So that's really good. Um, uh, Kathy, can you see if Barbara needs to be let in? She's, she's, she's looking at, um, the birthday parties in the GP. Yeah. Oh, they're going to take some pictures in the sanctuary. Oh yeah. Oh, if they if they need let in, that's fine. Can can you just let her in and she can open the door? Over there. In the gathering place. In the gathering place. Okay. Uh Okay. We may have to take a bathroom break. It'll take me like two seconds to run over. Let's let me knock. Let's knock this one out. So security, just the typical things with security. Um, just take a deep breath and take your time. Get your compartment. Put your stuff in there. The problem with security is you start going, oh, I'm not going fast enough. Then you forget stuff. And when you get through, again, take your time. Don't be pushed, you know. <laughs> Absolutely, and I encourage that. And that is, I'm glad you said that, Audrey, because we won't be all together going through security. We will, I will be taking roles at the gate. So, um, you know, you don't have to stay there at the gate, but go to the gate first. And because I want to know, make sure I've got everybody um, in place. Yeah. Usually you will. I've talked to a few people who have had hip replacements. They do it and they don't have them, but usually they do. I'm, I'm anticipating I'm going to get dinged for the person. <laughs> Oh no, that's it's very intrusive, but they they take it very seriously. So, all right, um, let me run over. Everybody, get a drink of water, go to the bathroom if you want. I will reconvene in less than five minutes.
There you go. You said it's being Look at that. I found PJ. Oh, <laughs> Jonathan. It's all on Okay. Anybody leave? The bird is in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, so I don't know on that. Every surface of the potential. All right. I know Bradley's not back yet, but we'll keep coming here. We'll we'll fill him in. So any Buddy, I know I don't know. Have you guys seen your tickets yet? Is that have you guys? Because so we always have this problem because you know the cost, which is certainly you know substantial to go on this trip, would be a lot more if we weren't getting air. A lot of us getting air through. Sorry, I was very quick. I fa I found Jonathan and I said you're in charge of it. <laughs> Sorry, so um, we ran into this in my prior two trips where spouses are not sit together. Um, you know, Russ and their, his air handler says, please put these people together, but the airlines don't always honor that. And, uh, you know, we've experienced this before. And so if that's an issue for you, it may not be, you know, it's like fine. <laughs> He is in the center seat. He's taking your seat. Oh boy. I'll do a little marriage uh, support. Hey. hey, we'll trade you now because I didn't think we have an island. So like Audrey happens, it turns out now what sometimes what happens is they still do put people in the group like Audrey. Although I don't think, I thank you. I looked at your seats and our seats and they're, yours is close to one of ours, but I don't think they're next to them. I know he highlighted them, but so the other thing you can do is when you get there and you get on the plane, say, hey, do you mind switching that, you know, we're in a group and we don't do that until we get on the plane. And and I I was very upset at this in one of my first trips because there were some other folks, you know, that were like really dissatisfied and upset about that. And I was too, because I didn't know that would be a thing, but he cannot do anything about it. Um, you can get the, when you get to the airport, that's the other thing. You can ask the attendant, hey, like I remember when you guys went before, you had, you know, Lulu obviously is needs to be it, but you know, we gotta be together, you know. Yeah. So but he's right near you, so that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Here comes this. We're going to have to do a lot of work here on this trip. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love it. I love it. So anyway, if that becomes an issue, you can talk to me about it. You can talk to other people. It may turn out like I think our Israel trip, Julie was next to Ace each time. And then so we just we just swapped and Sandy and I were able to sit together that way. You know, so anyway, um, there you go. I'm glad to hear that's not a big issue yet. Yes. So, okay. Um, I got that already. Uh, one great tip, noise canceling headphones or earbuds. The What I found is that, um, again, if you can afford them, it's it's not a bad purchase. Um, I've got the Air, Air, AirPod Pros that are noise canceling. Also, we also have some headphones. The, the engine roar, one of the things that tires you out on these long flights is just the roar of the engine. It's there, you kind of get used to it, but it's just like, 
when you take those noise cancelings out, you go, oh, wow. So it's just a helpful thing. Um, you know, uh, there you go. Um, hydrate, Lisa can give us any other, and other nurses here can give us any, um, you know, help suggestions while you're flying. Get up, move around, um, take a walk, stretch like I had up there, um, you know. Yes, do not stop taking them. Make sure you have enough for it. Because, because you, yeah, you're basically, you know, on the plane for, you know, what is it going to be? 14 hours. So, so you're, you're on the plane for more than a day. Yeah. So, um, so make sure you walk around, stretch, um, drink a lot of water. That makes you get up and go to the bathroom, which makes you get up and move around. All of that. Okay. Basic stuff. Let's talk about hotels, daily process, um, and that type of thing. But anybody, anything else on the travel that I forgot, missed, whatever, because you guys have more experience than me about a lot of this. Yes, Audrey. Money. money. Okay. Yeah, I didn't actually put money down, so that's good. Um, if you want to go to your bank now and say you're going to be in Greece and Rome, is it this euros then for both those? and you wanna get some euros, you can order that. I don't know, a lot of banks, I don't know that you can get, a, get it ahead of time. I mean, just like if you show up, can I get this many euros? But you, I know you can do that if you order it ahead of time. I can tell you though, I almost didn't use any cash on my trips. Like to Israel, there's a couple of street vendors that you wanna have, like, you know, if you wanna get a, something, but most of the places I use my, my my travel card because it does the switches for you and you don't you know how many euros all of that but i certainly it's a good thing to have some how much how much are people taking or what do you think i don't know any suggestions or experience yeah Jill. when i get my packet <laughs> Yeah. Now, when I traveled in Italy when the tour, the on the tour said I have so much money that I can exchange for you. It wasn't a huge amount of money, but he said I could do a little bit for you from time to time. Um, I just have no idea if it was where I'd been before. Um, Marilyn? Well, what I would suggest we do is the way Tom and I do it whenever we travel like this is that the minute when we land, we can actually, in the Athens airport, if we need to, we can go to an ATM there and, and get some euros. And you're going to be able to, get, when you put your card in there, it's going to, you decide that ours comes out of our, like our debit card. So be sure that your bank knows that. Be sure you bring more than one possibility of money. Because um, if something happens with that card, once we were in, in Scotland and they called us and said, Wait a minute, are you really the ones using this card? You know, so and you know, I... <laughs> or you can get your pin number, which happens. But um, you, so you're gonna get some euros and and I would suggest the beginning you just get like maybe 50 or something. Most banks, you know, most cards don't really charge you, like maybe Ben does not charge you a fee for up to a few transactions. And yeah. um you're gonna want euros. Most of I can't imagine really what we're going to do with dollars. Okay, I can. You I can, can tell you what I, I know what he's going to do with those. So the dollar bills is water. So the buses, the buses are going to have bottled water, cold water, but that's something that isn't covered. And so they ask that when you take a bottle of water, you throw in a one. So that's what the ones are used for. And so, yeah, but I, I would think having some euros, but I, I just, I'm betting that a lot of places are going to take your card. Now, some people don't want to use their card, but I think there's actually dependent, you know, you don't want to use it at some disreputable places. But, well, and, you do, so once you get out and we're walking around, we yeah. like the bank. Yeah. And a bank door next to the bank yeah. that you usually have to put the card in there to get into that little room. And in there are where the ATM machines are. Yeah, so and then you just take, you withdraw take some euros. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you can't the Right, time. right. So Feet and um, I, ha, Bring however many he said to bring in the letter. 
Yeah. Yes, you could do that as well. Yeah, absolutely. No, you can you can bring your own water bottle on the bus. I don't know. And we'll be able to ask them, you know, and that's, you know, ask our tour guide the, and all of that. Hey, obviously, the whole, at the major, major hotels we're going to be staying at, I can't imagine the water won't be okay, but we will ask. So, yes, that seems like a lot of, um, you know, it's probably a dollar a day, truthfully, or two dollars a day or something like that. Or you could, that's why you can take a five and you can just put a five in for five days and then you don't worry about it. You don't have to, it's not, it's an honor system, totally honor system. It's not like, here's a one, you get a bottle. They're, they're going to be in a ice chest on the bus. And you just, if you don't, if you forgot your money that day, just grab one, hydrate, <laughs> and then put some money in the next day. It's that type of thing. Excellent. Okay. I, did we get that on the euros and the money? Um, we are in Athens three nights, then Meteoria. Meteora, one night, Thessaloniki, two nights. Then we go back to Athens. We actually fly from Thessaloniki to Athens. That's something that I, you know, wasn't thinking about. Um, and then to back to Rome. Then we go to Rome for those going to Rome um, for three nights. Um, so the typical day breakfast, they'll tell you when. Um, uh, then we load up and remember what Russ said in his thing. And I encourage you to go back and watch his. I've got that up online on the web page um on time it's so crucial because they the tour folks have okay we're going to be here at this time and then we're going to be there for an hour and then the next place they've got it all lined up and if we're a half hour late because something happened then it throws the whole day off so i know we're not going to have problems you'll get a wake-up call um every day um but that's that's important um we have an opening prayer I would like to ask, I wish I had a piece of paper. Um, Sue, you have paper. Yes. Can you tear off a piece of paper and then just put at the top um, opening prayer? And then before you go today, if you're comfortable doing the opening prayer for, for one of the days, we usually get on the bus and we have an opening prayer. I don't want to be praying all of that. I'm not the professional prayer. You guys are great. You guys have got great prayers. So, um, so you can um, open with prayer and, you know, you can also say a few words like I'm excited about this or that, or just, just write and say a prayer. You can write it out ahead of time. You can You can do it extemporaneously. But we've got enough people here where not everybody has to do it. So Sue's got that. And then we'll just leave it sit on this table at the end of the time. And if we have too many people, I'll figure another place for you to pray, for sure. Okay, so um, uh, so we're going to do a lot of singing. Um, working with the Adams family, if we can get it figured out. Some of the kids bring some percussion stuff and, and maybe... Uh, Sawyer bringing a guitar, which we'll see. Um, and uh, the whisper system, if you haven't been on one of these tours, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna have changed. You're gonna get a whisper system every day. They'll tell you all about this or you get it for the whole time. You don't have to check it in out each day. You're gonna have it. It's, you know, there are battery things. So make sure you shut it off when you don't use it. It just keeps the batteries going longer. Um, but they'll have extra batteries and it's a great thing because you can have this on and I can be talking quietly in a big crowd of people and you can hear. So it's uh it's a really great thing for a tour like this. And I don't know what kind they're gonna have. The ones. I mean it's here, but it just makes me fit. Yeah, I'm betting it's it's not gonna be like it's going to be just the, the like like earbuds almost. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, boy, I got to keep moving here. Um, we after the, we'll we'll have lunch on where while we're going. So that's where we'll be going to local restaurant type places. But they will set it up and we'll be there. Uh, the other thing, Sandy, if you could write down uh, next to the other thing I asked you to write down <laughs> was uh, uh, food allergies. Food allergies. Mediterranean food is a lot of what we're looking at, but um, 
I know there's Italian places and stuff like that with pasta. I don't know if they're doing gluten-free stuff. Um, my daughter was there not too long ago and she said she found a lot of gluten-free options. But so um, on the other side of Sue's piece of paper, uh, put down uh, food allergies. And uh, did Russ already ask you about this at all in any correspondence? No. So if you can, if you can let me know that, that would be great. Um, let's see. At the end of the day, after dinner, usually where you're so tired, you're like up to your room and you're done. Um, I'm going to ask Russ, I have no idea, so I'm going to mention this, but don't make any, you know, you know, don't get your hopes up. Uh, I know when we went to Israel, he had a spot in, uh, um, Tiberius, where he, we got to do some wine tasting. Um, I'm going to see if he can arrange something like that. He takes a lot of Baptist groups, so he doesn't get to do this with most people. So, um, but, you know, are like, hey, sign us up, you know. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, we're going to, I'll encourage, because the one day we go back to Athens, it's really a free day. So, so I'm hoping, you know, we'll be doing a lot of talk about some stuff we can do that way. Um, and maybe that's when we'll set something up like that. Um, good question. I don't remember, but I think you do at the hotel. Yeah, yeah. You would have you could tell them, and then they would charge it to your room. Yeah. and that is something. And that's something that's important too, because if you remember, if you haven't done a lot of traveling. If you open that refrigerator and open that little Coke, that's like twenty dollars. That's a mile. It's made on twenty dollars, but it's a lot. So you have to end up paying for those, and then that gives you one more thing to do before you get on the bus. Um, of course, if we're leaving that hotel that day. So, but here we get back between five and five thirty. Yep. Is there a break between time we get back and check the room and we have uh, we go down to eat? There usually is. There usually is like a half hour or so where you can go up to your room, freshen up, and go back down for dinner. There's enough of a time slot where you can do that. Yeah. And then um, we, I may, depending on my energy, depending on the moment, where if if we if there's a need for or want for a like, hey, if you want to meet down at the lobby and have a debrief. I might do a few of those. Yeah. So, so we would dinner. You can go down any time between those hours. Correct. We yeah. See it, see it together. Just the last, the dinner the last night. Yeah, I think that when you go in and you say I'm a Silverdale Lutheran, they usually the some kind of concierge guy will say you're over in that section. But yeah, there's not like you know, exact tables, I don't think. And, and, it's all and it's all buffet typically, yeah. And it's in the in the past it's been quite good. So, you know, I was a little worried about that at first, but anyway, it's great. So yeah, because we're feeding a lot of people, or you'll have a bunch of family style plates or whatever. Okay. Um Eucharist on Sunday we will have Eucharist. I will bring things. Um we will definitely have to go to a winery or somewhere because I'm not going to bring a wine bottle. But um, and we will uh, have the Lord's Supper. Um, that's another reason why it's helpful for food allergies because I can bring you know enough gluten free wafers and stuff. But we'll probably buy some nice Italian bread or something for Eucharist and uh, make sure we finish it afterwards too, which is good. So um, you should always eat all the bread if you don't if you can. So. Um, but no balsamic vinegar and all that stuff. No, what ablutions? Yes, and the same with the one. Um, so um, that's kind of the the day. Really important thing I want to tell you about shopping and these kinds of tours. If you've not done this, or even if you have, I want to remind you. So I don't think it's a secret, and I don't think it's bad for me to tell you that our tour guide gets a certain kickback for how much we buy at a certain store. My job will be, and I've already talked to Russ about this, but I'll talk to our tour guide. How many of those are we doing? Uh -huh. And I want certain ones that are decent and good and we're not overdoing this. Sometimes you stop for a bathroom break and it happens to be a store. 
the, I can tell you this, I don't know if this will be a factor, but I know in Jerusalem, the only thing I got upset last time is we we stopped in at a little souvenir store before the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and 45 minutes later, we got to the Church of the Sepulchre. That was my only time I was not happy with our Boaz. Um, but I understand he's got to make money, and it's this is the gig, okay? This is nothing new. This is not something, it's not underhanded. They. It's just a part of the way business is run. And so um, I will talk to Russ about, okay, I want to know where we're going, and so I can let you know. Do not feel obligated to buy anything. If, you know, you set your own budget, you know, you got some people that you might want to, you know, and that just reminds me of something we did last time. Is we had prayer partners. It's not too late to do that. Um, sometimes we've had the congregation adopt you guys and be praying for you, which I'll, I'll think about whether we can pull that off at this stage or not. But and then so maybe there's some people you want to bring some gifts back for. And there's some wonderful things. And I think it's a wonderful thing to support local commerce. All of that is good. I don't want you to get pressured. And I will try and limit those. But I also know I can't cut them out completely. It's just, it's part of the gig. Um, but I can tell you that we will not be taking places that are bad, you know, like junk and, you know, stuff that's going to rip you off. So, you know, when you're in Israel and you're at the Dead Sea, you go get the salts and the mud and all that. And, and then when you're in Jerusalem, there's one. And then we always go to a, a, a family in Bethlehem and, and supports a Christian family. And so you support that group. But um, anyway, so there you go. Important for me to say. Um, our guide, if you want to write her name down, is Christina Valvecki. Val 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 I don't know anything about her yet. I'm going to be getting a bio on her, but Russ did tell me that is our guide in Greece. I don't know who our person in Rome is yet. Um, this is something that Russ doesn't talk about because it's kind of self-serving, I guess. But in the times I've gone... All the tips are taken care of. You don't tip anybody. Don't tip the driver. Don't tip the, the people taking your luggage. None of that. Russ takes care of all of that. That's a part of your thing. But at the end, at least in Israel, wow, like our guide was fantastic. They're just fantastic, wonderful. And our bus driver, let me tell you, you were probably at the end of this, you're going to be like, Thank you, bus driver. Because you know, you're, you know, you're like, ah! at least in Old Town Jerusalem, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not worthy. So, you know, so there will be an opportunity probably for us to take a kind of special, you know, throw in 20, a 50, a hundred, a one dollar bill, whatever you can afford, whatever you feel moved to do. But think about that in the you don't have to bring euros for that. You can just have cash for that. Um, just That's just something to be prepared for. And I haven't always prepared my groups for that. And like a lot of it, well, how much should I give? And I go, I, I don't know. And I've asked Russ, well, what's a good gift? You know, because <laughs> we don't want to insult, you know, so, but he won't, he won't say. So, you know, it's, and I get why he won't say, because he doesn't want to, you know, do that. So, all right. Um, a couple of more general things I want to talk about is, I'm learning with you, even when I've taken groups to Israel where I've been before and done, um, I'm still learning with you. The best thing about this is for you to ask questions. If you want to on the bus ask questions about local stuff, like what's that building or whatever, that's fine. That can sometimes get a little over, you know, done with the with the uh, the tour guide, but the tour guide will be on the bus and telling you things and pointing things out. So feel free to ask questions. They love that. I love it. And I certainly want you to ask me questions. If you want, you can say, hey, Pastor Bill, what about this? And I can say, oh, that is a good question. Let's ask that. But um, but be involved. And actually, not just questions, like insights. Like, I mean, that's, I am not like the guru teacher. I mean, I've got my expertise, but each of you have your walk with the Lord and have a lot to offer. So let's let's do that. Let's not be shy about that, is I think the thing I want to say. Um, so this is more on the attitude. So we all this is a thing for any experience I've found, you have expectations. Usually when I get frustrated, it's because my expectations are not being met. The only problem with that is something really great might be happening, but I'm missing it because I didn't expect it. 
Does that make sense? There may be frustrations. Um, that it's not uncommon. It may happen. I hope not. But just be aware of your expectations. I think this is a good prayer for God, the Holy Spirit, to guide your experience and keep you open to receiving blessings in a way you didn't expect. Um, I know on my trips in the past, you know, and since I've been to Israel so many times, you know, something new will jump out at me that surprised me. Like when I was here before, I didn't even think about this. Well, you know, all, most of us haven't been, done a tour like this before, so it'll all be new. But, you know, something will surprise you and just be open to that and just kind of go with, go with that. So um, I hope that makes some sense. Stay positive. Um, keep me positive. <laughs> if I get, focus on the good as your energy and gifts allow and direct. See this trip as a, this is also a great thought. Um, see this trip as a congregation and community building event. You have your personal goals and we want to enjoy and have fun and grow spiritually, but also think about this as a way to bless others as well. Um, though one of the last things I want to say is tourism. I know a lot of you have done a lot of traveling. I know some of you have gone to Israel and others have others. Have you done these kind of trips where you're on a big tour bus and done, gone with folks? Um, the, the challenge of this, I don't know how it'll be in Greece because I'm not gone. I, I can only imagine how it'll be in Rome. Um, you are surrounded by other tourists. And it almost can start to feel like, like this. you're just wrapped up in a big business, you know? I mean, it is a business. People make their livelihood this way, but it can be tough sometimes. So all of our work and building depth to your experiences by studying, reading the Bible, reading the Paul book, doing research, that's all going to really help you so you can really be present. But that can be a challenge. I just want to let you know that. I imagine it's especially going to be a challenge in Rome because, you know, we're, it's going to be a lot of people there. Um, but the blessing of that is then take a look around at all the Christians and people from all over the world that are coming to see these summits. And that is a tremendously uplifting event. See, wow, I'm not alone. I am not alone. Um, hey, Karen, the, uh, birthday gathering is in place. gathering place. Okay. No problem, Karen. Good to see you. <laughs> um, so uh, don't be, um, and remember your purpose. Okay. Other suggestions, let's see, your packets, charger adapters, you got your charger adapters in your packet, I'm assuming. COVID issues. Uh, yes, please, Lisa. I have leftover COVID test kits from church camp. Okay. They're in the box right there, you can grab them. So I, I, let, me, let me say this, I would encourage you, if you have some, take some. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, again, that's going to be your decision about in different places and stuff and whether you, but I don't know what the requirements are on the plane. I don't think there are a requirement now, but encourage you to do that. Um, uh, I believe that the tests are provided by Russ, but I got to clarify that. That's the other thing I need to ask Russ about COVID tests, because I can tell you the process. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So what here's what happens if you get there and you start to have symptoms. If you don't have symptoms, you're not taking a test. <laughs> um, so, but if you're and you're not feeling well, you will get it tested and uh, hopefully, prayerfully, you are not positive. If you are positive, then you do have to do the quarantining thing. This is something that's out of my control, out of their control. That's um, and so you will then, but your trip insurance does cover this type of thing. So I don't know if it'll cover like days missed or something. I don't know about that. But I do know if you get sick just before we need to leave and you can't get on the airplane, that your trip insurance will cover hotel until you're clear to travel, whatever their standards are. So that's, you know, that's how that works. Um, Beth brought up a great point. I am going to a couple of weeks before start being really cautious about where I go, I, you might see me with the mask on in church. I know, you know, we, we've had the debate about whether they work or don't work or whatever, but, you know, so I'm, I will probably do that and be cautious of my public exposure more, particularly the couple, the couple weeks before or week before. Um, I think that's just a smart thing to do. Um, if you, 
do the vaccines and you believe in that, I, I think there's a possibly a new one coming out in September of the booster with the flu shot or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, but look into that, make your own personal decision about that. But um, so that's what I know. I did ask Russ specifically, what, what, what happens if somebody gets COVID under there and you do end up, unfortunately, it, it, you will miss that those number of days um, of, of the tour with that. So that's, we don't want that to happen, praying that, it, but if it does, then, you know, we're, we will roll with it. And yeah. So then would they move you? Good question. Yeah, good question. I think that's part of what the insurance would cover. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But I need to ask that as well. Um, okay, yeah, so that's a good clarification, but it's just not gonna happen. We're just not gonna do it. Um, okay, so we are out of time to do any uh, faith building stuff. Um, other things though, um, and I know it's getting warm, any things we've missed, like little tidbits, tips? Right side, the same, the right side going, so <laughs> not the left side. So yeah, so we're okay there. You won't be freaking out while you're on the bus. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, when you're in England, you have to watch it. That's why in London, they have all those sidewalks that say, turn, look that way. Okay, um, anything else for, you know, just logistics? I'll close this with a prayer. Um, yeah, a couple. March the March. I think you talked about the passenger locator form, uh, which needs to be filled in online for Greece and Rome. Do you know anything about that? I thought he said something about you, you know, scan the PCR code here. Did anybody read that far ahead yet? Usually it's one that's filled out just a few days before you travel and it comes from the airline. I'm thinking that's what that is, but I'll have to read on it. No. You get a little scanner code like that. Yeah. And then when you walk into the airport in Athens, they're going to say, well, you know, they're going to check for you. I think a lot of times the airlines give them to you as well. But uh, Audrey, I will look into that. I don't know the answer to that. I haven't read that far ahead yet. <laughs> So yeah, because that is helpful to have those forms. The other thing with your passport, some people use the 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 app there. You can put your passport in and all of that. But you know, make sure you've located your passport now. <laughs> so just relocate it. Make sure you got it. it. It you know, I mean, I think you could rush one if you couldn't find it or lost it. But I know you wouldn't be this far if Russ hasn't gotten a copy of it. So. Um, because I know he asked for those. Has I'm assuming everybody's got that. Yeah. You don't know something that can if you don't go out of the air, it's just if you're fine with it. It's not really in Canada. Okay. Yeah. Good. So do some homework on that and we'll touch bases on a couple of these little particulars. Okay, let me close this in prayer. Gracious God, thank you for this opportunity. We place it in your hands. We place all our uh, nervousness and all our excitement um, in your care. And, and we begin just praying that your Holy Spirit will bring us together and watch over us and guide this tour that it be an enriching and faith-building event for us and our church. And Lord, so I do hold before you all the, the details and personal things in our lives that need to get squared away. Our businesses, our jobs, our family, the people we're caring for, um, all those things. So we, we put those um, actions and needs before you as well, and pray that you'll give us strength to, to get everything squared away. And so, indeed, we place it all in your care. Be with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So next Sunday is still good for me, so that's what I'm planning to do next Sunday, okay? Yeah.
Yes, and don't forget the piece of paper there for prayers before you go. If you're you're up for doing the prayer before we leave. Thank <laughs> you.